Hi class, Miss Chen here with another online art class. Today we're going to be learning about two new famous artists and their artwork. And after the video, we're just going to be doing a short Google form. So let's get into it. Today we're going to be learning about Salvador Dali's The Persistence of Memory, made in 1931. All right, as you can see here, a lot of you picked this from our assignment too, all right? And you can just take a second to notice all the parts of this painting. It looks like a pretty cool painting, right? Who is the artist? So, Salvador Dali was a Spanish painter from Spain, born in 1909, which was 100 years ago, about 100 years. He went to school in Paris. And as you can see here from his picture, he was a very interesting guy. He had a very interesting look to him. He always had a pointy mustache. And he also was an amazing painter. So not only did he look interesting, he was an amazing painter. His artwork was more about dreams and things about fantasy and stuff that you really think about when you go to sleep at night. Things that are crazy like that. All right? Why was the artwork made? So here goes the story. One night after a delicious pasta and cheese dinner, Dali and his wife Gala were supposed to go to a movie with their friends. Dali ended up staying home because he felt sick and dizzy. So his wife went to the movies alone and he stayed at home thinking he'll just go to sleep. Instead, Dali had great ideas come to him. In his painting, he had this branch that was an olive tree that he thought to just paint, you know, nature, natural, realistic things on. Instead, he started to think about how the objects in his painting could be not just realistic, but more fantasy. Maybe the clocks in his image could melt like the cheese he had at dinner, all right? And so he started thinking about how natural, realistic things in life could start looking more dreamlike, could start looking more like things that you would make up in your head. All right, and so he, he had this landscape painting that already had a lot of realistic things, real things in real life, and he added stuff that he made up in his head. These clocks in real life do not really look like how cheese looks like when it folds and when it pulls, but he in his painting with his skill was able to paint this, all right? The second painting we're gonna be talking about is Tar Beach, made by Faith Wrinkled in 1991. So, just like what we were just talking about with Dali's painting of make fake cheese and how everything was made up in his head and the surrealist artwork, we are going to be looking at Tard Beach by Faith Ringgold, which also has elements or things about it that is real and fake. All right? Now, who is the artist? Faith Ringgold was born in 19, oh, 1930 in New York City. So right here in New York City, she studied at City College, where Miss Chen also went to school. And she is a painter, artist, author, and civil rights activist. She is also still alive today. Now, not only did she go to school where Miss Chen went to school, but she also was working in the same place Miss Chen worked a few years ago. So I used to work at a children's museum, and I actually got the chance to meet her. And she was a very, very nice lady. Now. Tar Beach is really made after the idea that Faith Ringgold used to live in an apartment building just like this. And on her rooftop, she used to always spend the nights with her little brother looking up at the sky. And honestly, her artwork was just from her childhood, all right? She could imagine herself as a child laying down on this Tar Beach, looking up at the sky, and imagining how she could fly into the sky, the freedom that she had, the, the happiness that she had. You can see herself, she drew herself, imagining she could fly in the sky. She was always inspired by her neighborhood as a child. And Tar Beach was to remember her childhood with her brother and how happy she felt with her family. So that was the reason behind Tar Beach. Now, after you learn about these two famous artworks, I just want you to go out and fill the Google form and tell me how you like this video. All right. But Miss Chen out. I hope you like the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.